Hey nail bosses! Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing something slightly different because I don't know about you guys, but I wrote out my New Year's resolutions and at the top of that list, I decided that I want to do more collaborations or just networking more. And so um, I actually reached out to a few other uh, nail techs or content creators and I basically just let them know that I was interested in collaborating with them that I want to help promote their products and they help promote my products um, and just basically try to help you know give them exposure and like I said but I just basically repeated myself but you guys know what I mean and so I am gonna be doing a collaboration with Maida who is the owner of crafts x9 and she sent me a few products over that I'm gonna be using to create something beautiful I don't know what yet but I'm just gonna think of something as um, working but what we got are her 3xl square nail tips they look like that it comes for, with 420 nail tips we also got her nail dehydrator her no white top coat her black gel polish a beautiful orange glitter acrylic and then we also got the little 200, not 200 y'all, 2023 nail charms. And then I also got a nail boss charm, which I just recently started. Like I've always wanted to have a name that I call my followers and subscribers. And not too long ago, I decided to call everybody nail boss. I even have a hoodie that says just the nail balls building her empire and I was like, okay I think that's what I want to use because I'm not just like I'm a girly girl but I'm not like the girliest of the girls out there and so I didn't want to be like hey girlies or you know nothing like that so I feel like nail boss was perfect because if you're watching this you're a nail boss but anyways I do have a promo code for her products or for her website so if you see something that you like or if you just want to check her out, I'll be sure to leave the link down below and then you can use the promo code GETNAIL32 to get a discount. But I am going to be using my practice hand from Vita Bella to create a set. This is also part of another collaboration that I did with V. I actually, so back, background story. So I actually met Maida first in New York when I was doing, or we both were doing a meet and greet and demo with McCoy card which was amazing had a lot of fun and then V I actually met her in LA where McCart did their first ever nail class which was so much fun and so like I said this year I am in the process of just networking more trying to get myself out there more and just helping each other you know just get out there more i know a lot of the time people are scared to reach out to other people or there are i don't know like a lot of time i feel like our pride maybe our pride is too high and high and we don't want to reach out or whatever but this year i'm letting go of all of that because it's plenty of money out here for everybody so i'm reaching out to whoever i want so if you have a favorite content creator a favorite small nail supply business owner just let me know and i would love to reach out to them and work with them and i want you guys to do the same just reach out to whoever you like that you find influential that you feel like you guys have a lot in common with and just reach out to them and just let them know like hey i want to do a collaboration i feel like it will help you it'll help me it'll give both of us exposure and it'll be fun so that's basically what i'm doing here today and i'm actually pretty excited because I want to challenge myself to, of course, like I'm going to have to use a few of my products, but for sure, I'm going to be using all of the products that she sent me. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. And I'm excited to see what I come up with because I literally don't know. So I will see you guys in a bit and I'll show you guys the products up a little bit closer. So as the well. first thing that we have is one of her acrylics, which is in the shade Sunset. And it looks like it's like a glittery orange acrylic powder. Oh, that's pretty. I feel like I almost kind of have a vision of what I want to do for sure. Um, we also have her black gel polish. And I'm loving the bottles and the rose gold. Or actually, no, this is like a, yeah, I guess a rose gold. We have a black. 
And then we also have her nail dehydrator. We have her gel top coat, which is a no wipe top coat. Nail charms. And we also have her 3XL square no C curve nail tips. And it does come with 420 pieces. And this is what they look like. If I can get one. This is what they look like. Nice and straight. No deep C curve. I don't know about y'all, but I don't like the really deep C curve. So these are definitely perfect. And I also got my nail balls keychain, which I'll be sure to put on my keychain. And again, um, the promo code that you can use to get a discount on her website is getnail 32 So let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so as always, I'm going in with my 180 sanding band to remove the shine from the natural nail. I'm using my e-file at about 6,000 RPMs and just filing around the cuticle area and then also just filing the rest of the nail. And remember that whenever you're doing this on a client, you want to make sure that you use your e-file at a speed that you feel comfortable using it at. And just remember that as you're using your e-file, you want to make sure that you're not using too much force on the nail because it will cause friction and it's going to cause your client's nail to burn. But after we finish removing the shine, we're going to go in and apply the nail tips. Again, these are the square no C-curve nail tips. We're just using the KDS glue to apply them. And as always, making sure that the nail tips fit exactly from sidewall to sidewall. This is just a side view of what the nail look like once they're applied they're nice and straight and we're gonna go ahead and do that on all of the nails so as always as I always mentioned make sure that you apply the nail tips exactly from sidewall to sidewall and here is what they all look like once they're applied again really nice and straight and they're literally that perfect length and shape so again these are the 3xl square nail tips so after we finish applying the nail tips i am going to leave them this length so i'm just going in with the dehydrator and then i'm also going to go in with a primer and again all of these products are from crafts x9 and i'll be sure to leave the link down below so you guys can go check her out but i'm just going to be applying the color sunset on all of the nails which is an orange glitter acrylic so i'm gonna go ahead and do a clear coat over the entire nail or a bead of clear over the entire nail and then i'm gonna go in and just apply the orange glitter on all of the nails now i will say that this glitter was super super chunky so depending on what type of coverage you want then you can go in with a little bit more or less i did want more of that like full coverage look and not necessarily like a translucent look to where like the nail will basically still be clear it would just be like little specks of glitter so you will see me go in and add more glitter until i get that full coverage of just glitter so i'm gonna go ahead and just apply all of the glitter on the nails just filling in the gaps as i go and i'm still trying to do like my four ball method with the glitter just like i said trying to make sure that i have a full coverage um and it's not too see-through and then i'm gonna go in and encapsulate with the clear and also the brush that i'm using is actually my brush it's my number 14 acrylic brush and i'll be sure to leave the link down below to that as well but yeah so right now i'm just going in and encapsulating you want to make sure that of course anytime that you're using colored acrylics or glitter acrylics you want to make sure that you go in and encapsulate because whenever you use glitters or colored acrylics that's just for the color but your clear is actually what's building the thickness and apex so and then also that way whenever you go in to file you're not going to just fall away the glitter it's literally just protecting everything that you just applied so going in making sure that we have like i said a nice thickness and um apex as well and then i'm just wiping the sides off to make sure that we keep that nice square shape 
that way at the end we don't have to do so much filing so i'm basically going to do the same thing on all of the nails and here right there i showed you what it would look like if it was just a smaller bead you would get like that more clear look with just a few little specks but like i said i want a more full coverage so i'm going to do a full nail on all of them and then on the middle finger i'm going to do an ombre nail Alrighty, so we have our two full nails with glitter, absolutely beautiful. And so now for the middle finger, I'm going to do the ombre nail. So same thing, I'm just going to go in and do a bead of clear acrylic over the entire nail. And then I'm going to go in with the glitter, placing it closer to the cuticle area. So it's basically going to be a reversed ombre to where the ombre is basically coming from the cuticle area where it's going to be more product or more glitter around the cuticle area and then as it goes down towards the tip it's going to be more clear so once i get the amount of glitter that i want on there or the covers that i want i'm going to go in with the clear and same thing just making sure that we encapsulate and that we have a nice thickness and apex that way we don't get any lifting or breakage Alrighty, so after we finish applying the acrylic on all of the nails, I'm going to go in with my 8080 hand file and we're just going to reshape all of the nails. So of course we're following the sides and the free edge at exactly a 90 degree angle. And of course, because the nail tips are already square, we don't really have to do too much filing. We're just making sure that we get rid of any of those little rough edges and just basically perfecting that shape. And y'all also just look at how beautiful that glitter looks. I probably should have did like an ombre nail or not ombre, but matte nail. Cause even just the glitter looking matte looks so so pretty but anyway so i'm gonna go ahead and just finish reshaping the nails and then we'll move on to the next step which would be the filing part so during this part i use my e-file at 8000 rpms and i'm just going around the cuticle area and then of course filing the rest of the nail to make sure that everything is nice and even now whenever i apply my acrylic i'm able to apply it nice and smooth so that way i don't have too much filing to do so i just focus around that cuticle area and then of course i still file the rest of the nail to make sure that everything is even but for the most part just focusing around that cuticle area but if you do have bumps and lumps then of course you will have to spend a little bit a little bit more time on the rest of the nail to make sure everything is even so after you filed all of the nails with your e-file next we're going in with the buffer and this is going to get rid of any of those scratches after that we dust the nail soft and wash the hand off and then we're going to go in with some nail lard so i'm just going to be using the black gel polish that she sent me as well and like i said i just wanted to use all of the products that she sent me um so i did the glitter the nail tips the gel polish the primer um the only thing that i decided not to use was the 2023 nail charms um even though they were beautiful i just i was gonna put them on there but it just I don't know like it just looked a little off so i'm just going in and doing some literally some like i don't know if you would call this like abstract nail art but i'm just literally going in and doing random lines um i really didn't know exactly what to do because like i said i didn't want to use too much products that weren't Midas and so that's why I wanted to just go ahead and do something to where I was able to include every single item that she sent me like I said I'll be sure to leave the link down below and if you decide to purchase anything don't forget to use my promo code which is get nailed 32 and I'll be sure to leave all of that information down below for you guys but 
up next i'm just going in and applying her top coat which is super super shiny just applying that on all of the nails and of course curing for 60 seconds and here is the final look they turned out absolutely beautiful i'm loving the glitter underneath the top coat is so shiny and i am loving these black lines like they're so pretty